What's going on guys, Alan here. Welcome back to another 4scan video. Without further ado, let's get to it. And on today's video, um, I have a dash cam and what's going on with it is after I shut my ignition off it stays on for an hour and 15 minutes because that's how long the outlet stays on for. Um, so in this video I am going to change that from an hour and 15 minutes down to 60 seconds and I'm gonna do it using Forescan. Here we go. Alright guys without further ado let's jump into it. I've got her connected right here. She is in high speed. The switch is in high speed right now. Got it connected to the computer and now I am going to pull up Forescan software. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go to the little plug, make sure the ignition is on and high speed is selected. That is good. Okay. Yes, this is my vehicle profile right here. Make sure it's set to medium speed now, so we will flip it back to medium speed and select OK. All right, so now we're going to go to the microchip, and today what we're looking at is, let's see. We are looking at the focus, the PowerPoint timeout right here. Um, I actually want to disable it, so I could go into the as built right here and type in, you know, um, 1194 0001 and then 000D and just disable it. But I'm going to take the easy way out, um, like in my other video that I showed you. So we are going to not use the as built. We are going to go into the module configuration and hit the play button. Uh, make sure it's back to high speed. So we will high speed it. Bam. Click OK. And reading everything. Now she's good. So uh, it's all alphabetical order. So we will scroll down to the P's. Right here, PowerPoint timeout. So let me show you how easy this is, guys. So right here, PowerPoint feature, it's enabled. Here I can easily go in and I can disable it. Right here, I can edit selected and just disable, or so let's say I wanna make sure I get out of my, you know, so the whole reason why I'm doing this, you know, dash cam right there. Let's, you know, maybe I get mugged in the front of my vehicle after getting out after, you know, 10 seconds. Maybe I want to keep that going for a minute. <clears throat> so let's not do this. Let's keep it on enabled. And then we'll go to the um, max timeout or the PowerPoint timeout and we'll, we'll, we will enable edit selected here. And this is in seconds, okay? Um, so 4,500 seconds equals one hour and 15 minutes. So I want to do 60 seconds. So let's just do 60 seconds. Hit OK. And then max time out. Let's see what this says. I can't change that value, so it doesn't matter. So this max time out should change after I write this. So down here at the corner, we're going to hit right. Uh, PowerPoint timeout going from 4,500 to 60. Yes. Bam. It's writing. Truck goes nuts. Blocks programmed. Cycle off the ignition. And then back on again. So I always wait a good few seconds. Just because if you start it up too early, I mean, I've had, I've had it not take. So... Do, 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 do. All right, I'm not going to bore you guys with that. <laughs> so, cycle the ignition back on. And then we will hit OK. Now, 
and it still says max time out one hour and 15 minutes I don't know why it says that six oh yeah incorrect value or not configured so yes I don't know hmm interesting So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and then we'll go back to it and I want to see if anything has changed. Bam! Um, okay, back down, back down to it. Uh, incorrect value or not configured. Um, hmm. Okay. That's fine. Max timeout doesn't matter. Hopefully this will work. And then I don't have to worry about it. And I was showing you the wrong thing. So the PowerPoint feature is going to disable all your, all your stuff. What you'd want to do is the timeout. You want to change the timeout here. You would want to disable that. So that's good. So... Now I will check it out. Hopefully it will only stay on that long. Um, so now we just need to disconnect from the vehicle. Go back down here to disconnect. Everything is copacetic. And we can shut the ignition off. Unplug everything. And try it. Alright, so right now the camera is in fact recording and you can see there is a blue light on my camera plug. So we'll wait one minute and see what happens. There it is guys. It's out. It worked. Good. I don't have to worry about disabling it. It's going to stand for one minute after I'm done and we'll be good to go. There you go guys, another successful 4Scan video for you. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you got any questions, check into the comments below and I will get back to you as soon as I can, if I can. And until next time, later.